The name Andromeda wasn't assigned to the galaxy until the 19th century. In the 17th century, astronomers referred to the celestial object as M31, reflecting their limited understanding of its true nature. It was only with advancements in telescopic technology and astronomical knowledge that the Andromeda galaxy was correctly identified and named. This evolution in nomenclature underscores the progress made in the field of astronomy over centuries. Despite its current name, M31 is still mentioned in some scientific literature and space journals, a nod to its historical designation. This continuity highlights how astronomical nomenclature can evolve while still preserving its roots, providing a sense of the journey taken by scientists to better understand the universe. For a long time, scientists believed that Andromeda was much larger than the Milky Way. This belief was based on early observations from Earth, where Andromeda's size appeared significantly vast. The scale of Andromeda seemed immense when viewed with the limited instruments of the past. However, with the development of high-tech instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, our understanding of Andromeda's true size has been refined. These instruments have provided clearer and more detailed observations, revealing that Andromeda is not significantly larger than the Milky Way. In fact, thanks to James Webb, scientists have realized that the Milky Way is much larger in mass than initially thought. The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our understanding of many celestial bodies, including Andromeda. This advanced instrument has provided unprecedented clarity, allowing astronomers to observe details previously obscured. The discovery that the Milky Way's mass is greater than previously estimated has significant implications for our understanding of galactic formation and evolution. Galaxies are immense systems that are constantly evolving. This ongoing evolution makes it challenging for scientists to agree on a specific mass for any particular galaxy. Galaxies are composed of stars, planets, dust, and dark matter each contributing to the galaxy's overall mass. Even with sophisticated observatory instruments like James Webb, accurate measurements of a galaxy's mass are difficult to achieve. However, these instruments do allow for detailed observations, providing insights that were previously unattainable. The Andromeda galaxy is located about 25 million light years away from Earth. While this may seem like a considerable distance in the vast expanse of the universe, Andromeda is actually our next door neighbor. The massive size of both the Andromeda galaxy and the Milky Way makes this distance relatively insignificant on a cosmic scale. The close proximity of Andromeda to our Milky Way is not the only aspect that makes it special. Andromeda and the Milky Way share numerous similarities, including their spiral structure and the presence of numerous stars and planetary systems. Despite the Milky Way being much older, Andromeda is just as massive. The Milky Way was formed soon after the Big Bang, about 13 billion years ago. Whereas Andromeda is relatively younger, with an estimated age of 10 billion years. Despite its younger age, Andromeda measures 220,000 light years across, compared to the Milky Way's 100,000 light years. Scientists have also estimated that Andromeda contains as many as 1 trillion stars, in contrast to the Milky Way's 400 billion stars. One of the most intriguing features of the Andromeda galaxy is its supermassive black hole, located at its center. This black hole is about 110 million times heavier than our Sun and serves as the active galactic nucleus of Andromeda. Black holes are regions in space with an extremely strong gravitational pull that can suck in anything in close proximity. When observed with advanced instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have noted that the active galactic nucleus of Andromeda emits a significant amount of light and radiation. This emission is due to gases and stars being pulled toward the black hole forming what is known as an accretion disk. This disk of matter swirls around the black hole, heating up and emitting highly luminous light and radiation. Another fascinating feature of the Andromeda galaxy is its globular clusters, which are tight groups of stars that have formed over billions of years. Andromeda has around 400 globular clusters, each containing several thousand or even millions of stars. These clusters are a testament to Andromeda's dynamic and complex history marked by numerous galactic mergers and interactions. In summary, Andromeda has more mass, more stars, and a wealth of cosmic phenomena, including a supermassive black hole at its core. If the Andromeda galaxy and the Milky Way were to collide, one might expect the Milky Way to suffer the most damage due to Andromeda's apparent greater mass and size. However, this is not necessarily the case. Thanks to dark matter, the Milky Way may be just as Resilient and powerful during a collision as Andromeda, our Milky Way galaxy is surrounded by a thick, 
a vast cloud of dark matter that measures up to 2 million light years across. Dark matter, though invisible and undetectable by traditional means, plays a crucial role in the structure and evolution of galaxies. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that does not absorb, reflect, or emit electromagnetic radiation. Its presence is inferred through the gravitational effects it exerts on visible matter. Scientists have detected dark matter's influence on galaxies and cosmic structures, leading to the understanding that it significantly affects the universe's evolution. The dark matter halo surrounding the Milky Way contributes to its overall mass and stability. Andromeda also has a dark matter halo, though it is smaller in comparison. This halo helps balance the mass of the two galaxies, making them more comparable in weight than initially assumed. The Andromeda galaxy is not just a singular entity, but a collection of several smaller galaxies merged into one. This process, known as galactic cannibalism, has played a significant role in Andromeda's formation and growth. Astronomers believe that Andromeda's large diameter is the result of multiple collisions and mergers with smaller galaxies. These events have led to the explosion of stars and the distribution of massive particles of stardust. About 8 billion years ago, Andromeda swallowed up another galaxy, and it did so again about 100 million years ago. This cannibalistic nature has contributed to Andromeda's many globular clusters. Galactic cannibalism, while seemingly destructive, is a natural part of universal evolution. Even the Milky Way has devoured about 12 smaller galaxies over its 13 billion year existence. This ongoing process highlights the dynamic and ever-changing nature of galaxies. Scientists have discovered two small galaxy clouds that the Milky Way will likely consume in the next few million years. Previously, it was thought that these acts of galactic cannibalism would precede the Milky Way's clash with Andromeda. However, new data from the James Webb Space Telescope suggests that this intergalactic collision will occur sooner than anticipated. The impending collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way is part of the grand cosmic plan. Just as smaller galactic clusters merge and evolve, it is inevitable for larger galaxies like Andromeda and the Milky Way to collide and merge. This collision will have significant consequences for both galaxies and the cosmic environment. When Andromeda and the Milky Way collide, the event will not be as catastrophic as one might imagine. Early astronomers envisioned galactic mergers as violent collisions with stars and planetary bodies smashing into each other. However, the reality is that even in populated galaxies like Andromeda, there is still a considerable amount of empty space. In our own solar system, for instance, the distance between celestial bodies is vast. The Earth is about 140 million miles away from Mars and approximately 93 million miles from the Sun. The distance between our Sun and the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is about 25 trillion miles. Given these immense distances, the collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way will likely result in little to no direct collisions between stars and planets. Instead, the two galaxies will merge by filling in the gaps, with stars and planetary bodies from Andromeda moving into the Milky Way and vice versa. This intermingling will disrupt the balance and formations of both galaxies, potentially sparking a series of reactions and rearrangements, as the galaxies merge, it is expected that the resulting structure will no longer be a spiral galaxy, but an elliptical one. Spiral galaxies, like the Milky Way and Andromeda, have a disc-like shape with spiral arms, whereas elliptical galaxies have an ellipsoidal shape and appear as smooth images when viewed through telescopes. Elliptical galaxies are relatively uncommon, making up about 10-15% of the Virgo supercluster. However, they can grow to become supergiants, leading scientists to predict that an elliptical galaxy will be the outcome of the Andromeda-Milky Way merger. Andromeda is already showing signs of transitioning into an elliptical galaxy, suggesting that this transformation will be completed after the collision. Another expected change is the formation of a mega black hole at the core of the newly merged galaxy. This black hole will be the product of several massive black holes merging into one. Black holes play a crucial role in maintaining the structure of galaxies due to their strong gravitational forces. It is believed that black holes have been central to the formation and sustainability of galaxies since the early universe. Aside from the mega black hole, the merging of Andromeda and the Milky Way will produce significant radiation. The interaction of black holes and the merging process will generate intense radiation, potentially affecting everything within a vast radius. This raises questions about the fate of Earth during the collision. Our solar system is located in the Orion arm of the Milky Way, about 27,000 light years from the galactic center. This off-center location provides some advantage during the collision. 
but it does not guarantee safety. The outcome for Earth depends on various factors, including the angle and trajectory of the collision and the gravitational interactions between the two galaxies. One possibility is that the combined gravitational forces could catapult our entire solar system into a new location, either within the merged galaxy or completely out of it. This ejection would likely disrupt the balance of celestial bodies in the solar system with unpredictable consequences. Despite the potential risks, the collision of Andromeda and the Milky Way is not an immediate concern. The event is projected to occur in about 4-5 billion years, giving humanity ample time to prepare and possibly find solutions to mitigate the impact. Additionally, by that time, the Sun will have evolved into a red giant, potentially engulfing the inner planets, including Earth. This eventuality underscores the transient nature of celestial bodies and the ongoing evolution of the cosmos. In conclusion, the impending collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way is a fascinating and complex event that will reshape both galaxies. While the collision will not result in a catastrophic destruction of stars and planets, it will lead to significant changes in the structure and dynamics of the galaxies. The formation of an elliptical galaxy and a mega black hole at its core are just some of the expected outcomes. This cosmic event provides valuable insights into the processes of galactic evolution and the ever-changing nature of the universe.